Engaging in common sense nowadays is what you call a conspiracy theory. Questioning known certified liars is an act of heresy. Every day there are hit pieces. This one's out of the International Business Times. Ebola hysteria, two old conspiracies get new life as deadly virus dominates news cycle. And the report goes after Infowars.com for absurdly saying that Big Pharma stands to profit hugely from the Ebola response. They've got a whole bunch of vaccines coming out, you name it. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation are heavily involved. We have governments caught over and over again doing secret tests on the population. But the media, the dinosaur media, plays on the ignorance and preys on the ignorance of the general public. But even the general public knows about the secret history of testing. I was listening to Beyond the Beltway that comes on after my Sunday show here locally out of Chicago. I was listening to it on 590 driving home. And I heard Bruce Dumont, who I've met, pretty nice guy, but he had me medical doctors on. And they were all bemoaning that most of their patients, was the quote, won't take the flu shot because it's, quote, from the government. That's because people keep getting sick from it and dying from it. And then when you bring it up, they go, oh, shut up, conspiracy theorist. People know cause and effect. Rattlesnake bites you, you get sick. You get hit by a truck, you break bones. You fall out of a tree, you break your ankle. You drink a bottle of whiskey, you get drunk. You smoke two packs of cigarettes a day for 40 years, you get lung cancer. You cut yourself shaving, you bleed. And they just stand there and ridicule. That's the only intellectual argument they've got is a non-intellectual argument of, ah, that's the conspiracy theorist. That's the discredited guy. I remember like six months ago, they were going in the news. Yeah, Ted Cruz is really in trouble. He's discredited. He criticized Obamacare, and it's a huge success. As his poll numbers shoot up, as everything he warned about Obamacare was true, as he becomes you know almost the front runner, neck and neck with Rand Paul. But I saw all these articles for like a week straight Washington Post, New York Times. Yeah, Ted Cruz is really in trouble. People were so jealous of Mark Twain, other writers, they were always saying he was dead or he was bankrupt or he was this or that. It's something losers do. They just announce that you failed when you haven't. Yeah, too bad Muhammad Ali never won a heavyweight title. It's not true, but we could just sit here and say it. And, ha, 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 look at him. He couldn't fight a two-year-old. They just play this game. And the reason I harp on this is it is such incredible mind control that it doesn't work on people that are thinking and involved and try to understand how the world works. Doesn't mean we know everything. Versus people, I mean, I, I get emails every day and get calls all the time saying, Alex, you say there's no law to take vaccines, but the school says it's a law. And I'll tell them, are you by a computer? Well, yes, I am. We'll type in West Virginia vaccine exemption form or type in Texas or type in California. They're all the same. And it's an exemption from something that isn't even the law. It's from a health department policy. And they go, my gosh, it really is true. Well, they lied to me. The principal and the nurse said it was the law. Yes, you're involved in facing a criminal conspiracy. And it doesn't even mean the principal or the teacher are innately evil. They just are told by the health department, a lot of people, it's for the greater good, so they're part of the conspiracy. They've been brought into it. I mean, how do you think they had tens of thousands of people involved injecting blacks over 40-something years with syphilis and keeping it secret as they spread it all over the country? Because once you're into the cover-up, you then start covering it up more because you're part of the corruption. He popped in with us for about 20 minutes last week. He'll be on with us for about 40 minutes today. Max Kaiser is coming up to talk about Ebola, the economy, the bond market, the gold market. And what he sees coming up in the future, we'll open the phones up as well. Uh, I want to open the phones up early in this hour, something I really have a lot of trouble doing because I like to start perseverating uh, and, and basically ranting. Uh, before we ever even go to your phone calls, but I do want to open the phones up specifically on what you think the next big shoe to drop is in this in this season of crisis, starting wars with Russia, openly funding Al-Qaeda, changing the name to confuse the public, 
uh, political persecution in America, open NSA spying against Congress and the American people. What do you think the next big shoe to drop is? And, and what is the Ebola story distracting from? Popping in uh, at the bottom of the hour will be InfoWars nightly news host and also InfoWars radio host, uh, David Knight, who's a pretty smart guy, an engineer in his own right. <sighs> Headline from a story he wrote last week, is a possible Ebola cure being hidden from the public? DARPA and pharmaceutical companies spent years and millions of dollars to create a GMO imitation of a treatment they say is unproven. Well, that's like big companies are going out and changing the molecules on fish oil and then patenting it and then charging $200, $300 for a bottle that should be $30 uh, and then having the FDA try to shut down people making claims about over-the-counter fish oil. And they've spent, last time I checked, it was like $100 million, one big company alone, a few years ago to actually get approved modified fish oil so that they could then make claims and put it on your insurance. And it's not even as good as the natural fish oil. Then they have all these propaganda pieces. Fish oil's got mercury in it. They have systems that remove it 100%. And it simply says on the bottle, it has been treated and has been put through the systems to have zero mercury. All the high quality brands have been mercury free for decades. But that's not even what I'm getting into here. It's that when you study the news constantly, it is so frustrating to see the propaganda that's put out because they had the International Business Times that actually does some good reporting from time to time come out and demonize David Knight and his article for the very reason, because it is so credible. David really comes out with thoughtful, investigative video reports and, and articles. Just like when Kurt Nemo dared say last week that Big Pharma is set to roll out at least three vaccines in the next six months, one of them by December, and then he linked in his article to mainstream news admitting they're coming out with the vaccine and other treatments that are set to make billions and billions and billions a week if they're adopted. And they just said, he's insane and says that they're set to make money when there's no proof. Ha, ha, ha. He says two plus two equals four. It's this childlike mind game that they play where they go, man, Alex Jones is really discredited. I used the example earlier of, remember six months ago, it was for a couple of weeks, it was headlines every hour in every publication you could imagine. Ted Cruz is discredited. Yeah, he did a filibuster a few months ago, and... Obamacare is such a big success that Ted Cruz is in trouble. Then you'd read the article and Ted Cruz's approval rating was skyrocketing. So it's perception management. It's like saying that hamburger place has cockroaches in its patties, but really your patties have got the cockroaches. And here's a little news flash to all the neocons and all the fake liberals and all the establishment types. There's a reason Congress has a 7% approval rating in Gallup. There's a reason the CDC, here's an article out of CBS News, has the, the lowest approval rating ever, public confidence in CDC nosedives, poll finds. It's because we don't have confidence in you. And you can try to kill the messenger all day. You can try to change the subject onto Alex Jones. You can even put a bullet in my head or set me up or do whatever you want. Do you understand you can destroy my name and then destroy me physically or lock me up? I know that's how this works. But I win because I did the right thing for my family and your family who will live together in the future. And I didn't compromise, and I didn't back off, because the signal has already been sent. And you cannot stop the signal. Do you understand that? The transmission has already been sent. What does it matter militarily if there's been a transmitter sending the truth out for years, and the entire population of the area is awake and basically knows what's going on, and then you blow up the transmitter? All you do is validate it and vindicate it. And sure, you've got maybe half the public that only watches Sports Center or sitcoms or you know, medical drama shows and literally takes the flu shots and buys in anything and everything they're told. 
Those people don't count and were never going to count. They were set in front of televisions in their dirty diapers from birth and aren't even real people. They're wrecked robots. Then you've got a small minority of sociopaths, mercenaries, psychopaths, borderline personality disorder uh, type people that work for the system and work for the government who want to go out and persecute innocent people and who hate those of us that expose the fraud of the system. But they've got a problem because there's a giant swath of people in government and corporations that are very moral, but were just asleep and now see how corrupt things openly are, so they're waking up. Remember George W. Bush saying eight years ago when NSA whistleblowers from AT&T and other places went public and said, listen, whole floors of our telecoms are hooked into the NSA. The NSA runs whole floors and everything going through them is being listened to with data mining, and they are looking at the American people, and the DEA is tracking everything you do in real time, and they're creating fake court cases to set you up. Bush came out and said, it's ridiculous. You know, I can't do a very good Bush like, like I can do a Clinton. You know what I'm saying? Well, come on, it's ridiculous. We don't listen to anybody's calls in America without a warrant. That's overseas calls. That's Al-Qaeda. You can pull those clips up. We've played them many times. And it wasn't true. It was a lie, and now it comes out. The British Parliament's being spied on by their NSA. Congress is being spied on. The House and the Senate, the governors, the Secret Service, the FBI, the ATF. And do you know what they're being spied on? In fact, I want to get Wayne Madsen back on that he's now back in the country. I know he's on a few weeks ago when Knight was filling in, but I want to get him on air as soon as possible. Because... I mean, I remember having him on like 16 years ago. I've been interviewing him since about 1998. And he was a tree that fell in the forest that nobody heard it. So did it really make a sound? Well, yes, he did. He's 10 times more intel on the NSA and how it worked and what they did and has testified to Congress and the EU Parliament and the British Parliament, you name it. But because the media ignored him, it, 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 it never got any attention. We, we knew this from James Bamford, the former head producer of Nightline for 20 years. He quit Nightline. He was so freaked out by what he knew and went and wrote two best-selling books about the NSA spying on everyone. And Madsen, they've all been on the show countless times. And I've had Benny on, the director of operations, and just countless other whistleblowers, and they've told you it's targeting political speech, it's being used for blackmail, it's being used to set people up, it's being used to stop members of the ATF blowing the whistle on Fast and Furious. It's being used to stop members of the FBI stopping other government agencies involved in money laundering. It's being used so that the big banks have intel on what the whole government's doing. Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, under different systems, they have more access to the NSA than any government agency does. This is a corporate coup over America. Who do you think funds the gun control? The victim disarmament. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is number one in this country. Look it up. It's all federal filings. Number two is Goldman Sachs. Number three is J.P. Morgan, last time I checked. And it goes down the list. Berkshire Hathaway. And a lot of times, it's the same group giving over and over again. Who do you think is Berkshire Hathaway and Wells Fargo and Bill and Melinda Gates? That's Warren Buffett. About a third of the money in that. And you understand, these are the people that literally want us to live in 1984, that literally want to take our freedoms, that want to cut the IRS fraud investigator for billionaires and increase the investigators for blue-collar people, that's on record, to literally break the back of everyone in this country, to shut down our power plants, to shut down our factories, to break up our families, to do everything they can to totally bring this country down. And so America is having the come-to-Jesus moment where people throughout the system, the military, you name it, are saying, you know, it's really true that criminal elements of our government are funding al-Qaeda. We're not going to be part of it. You know what? Alex Jones told the truth.
Ron Paul came on this show three weeks ago and said, yes, we need to release the 28 pages, and looks like there was a cover-up of 9-11. And you've got members of Congress coming out, and bills introduced. See, we were right about that again. It doesn't mean there aren't radical Islamists, and that doesn't mean they weren't involved. When the media spins it and says that I said George Bush had a plunger, like Wiley Cuyo detonating it, I never said that. I said they allowed us to be attacked bare minimum and had a stand down so they could radically take our liberties and freedoms. That's come out. Harvard admits fluoride is brain damaging our children and giving them cancer. Vindicated. Vindicated. Our government's laundering most of the major drug money and funding the big drug cartels. That's even in the Chicago Tribune. It comes out in court. Vindicating Gary Webb, who they killed. Vindicated. Vindicated. So the good news is we're being vindicated. But when they sit back there and point their finger at us and laugh at us for saying two plus two equals four, remember, that's all they've got is a desperate mind game of a magician. David Knight's going to be popping in coming up in the next segment to talk about his article from last week that's being demonized by establishment media. Is a possible Ebola cure being hidden from the public? We're going to talk about it coming up in the next segment, demonized by the International Business Times. And this is just such a reasonable article that he wrote, bibliographed, linking to all the proof, uh, just so well-researched, and so they attack it. So I think David should do another video report on this as well, and we should feature it since it upsets the establishment so much. Boy, every time we talk about Big Pharma obviously trying to profit from this with dangerous experimental vaccines, they just say, there's no such thing. Well, I want to tell the listeners something that Google and Microsoft and the NSA and DARPA and IBM and all these public-private partnerships already know. And I don't say this to brag about it. I say it because I can feel the palpable electrical crack of attention and fortune and danger. And the fortune we seek is liberty and the survival of and expansion and development of the species, goodwill, trailblazing, strength and honor, all the things that are under attack. It doesn't mean we're perfect, but we know what we love. We know what we worship. We know what we support is the good God, not the bad God. You can say you don't believe in God. Okay, whatever. I don't want to dumb people down. I don't want to enslave people. I want to try to tell the truth and be honorable. And I don't choose my reality. I really try to discover what real reality is, the mysteries of the universe. Life is so fantastical, so amazing. I hate having to spend my time focused on the globalists, which are only one small part of the universe, but they're right here sitting on top of us on this planet. I just cry sometimes. I get tears in my eyes when I see just all the wonders of the world and all the experiences and just the feel of nature, especially in the fall and the spring, it's just so wonderful. And then you juxtapose that, the innocence of children, the beauty of the clouds and the sky, the stars, all of it, to the evil of the system and the fraud that it is, just reject it. <clears throat> but before I get into the news and take your calls, I wanted just to make this little announcement to everybody. And I, I do this occasionally. <sighs> Exponentially, whether I am in the South, the East, the West, or in England, or in Central America, or I talk to people that have gone all over the world and we get the feedback from all over the planet, Infowars.com and Alex Jones, yours truly, and my entire team are beyond rock star level popular in huge pockets all over the world. Not with the crowds that follow the Kardashians or the crowds that religiously only follow ESPN. I'm not saying you're bad if you like ESPN or the Kardashians. You know what I mean. It's that people only care about stuff like that. The liberty movement is exploding worldwide, and the feedback I get. I mean, I went to main event with my children and some friends and their children a few weekends ago to bowl. It's a big bowling video game place. And almost everyone I walked by shook my hand and was a listener. 
almost everyone, and, and guys in football jerseys who were there bowling. So I shouldn't criticize football fans, but obviously that person's a listener. Football isn't their, you know, the only thing they're into. They're more balanced, is my point. Literally, almost everyone, and to the point of I couldn't bowl, I couldn't play uh, air hockey with the kids, I, I couldn't rock climb, they have indoor rock climbing. I was just shaking hands the whole time. And they weren't just people that kind of knew who I was and had seen a video here or there. They were hardcore listeners. Same thing with military, police, you name it. The system knows we are gigantic. Our footprint of Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, is only like the little rock in the pond, as I've said many times. We're only the rock as it hits the water, but the ripples are gigantic. And the ripples of what you do with a YouTube channel or a local radio show are giant as well. And when you do the right thing, those ripples go on forever. And that's why the system is coming out against us. It's why they're demonizing us. It's why they're trying to assassinate my character. And I feel that they'll be coming after me very, very soon. And that's okay. That's what I, this is what the whole point of this is to go up, head up against the new world order and be an example against them. Doesn't matter if we don't make every step right or, we're not Pharisees here, ladies and gentlemen. We're not talking about the, the you know, the the, the the speck in other people's eyes. We're in the arena going as hard as we can and asking God for providence. And I think we'll go through the storm. But we're still in the storm, but I can see the blue sky through the lightning on the other side, and all of us can make it out of this together. But liberty is popular. You are not alone, my friends. <laughs> In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. We have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA force from InfoWars Life.